Hello and welcome back to the channel! In this video we're gonna be looking at Star Wars The Black Series Balan Skull from Star Wars Ahsoka. This is one of the new Black Series figures that was just recently released. I got this guy from Hasbro Pulse EU and we all know the deal with this figure. We know the huge, huge mistake with its size, with its uh, proportions, with its height in comparison to the other figures in the Black Series line and that's uh, unfortunate because Balan was one of the most highly anticipated figures ever since we saw the guy in the Ahsoka show and Hasbro did deliver this guy fairly fast but we ended up having a short short Balan skull so it is what it is we're gonna take a look at the figure but first let's take a look at the box so here in the front we see the window and the figure on the inside his oversized lightsaber. Down here is the name, a nice side art illustration. Balan is number 9 in the Ahsoka lineup of Black Series figures. Here again we have the same illustration, a short bio, nothing on the side, nothing at the top and here at the bottom some legalese. So let's open up the box and let's take a look at the figure. So here is our Balan skull out of the box and just like this on uh, his own the figure looks good. It's passable. The silhouette is nice, the proportions do look good, but that is all before we put this guy next to another Black Series figure. That's uh, when the real problem starts. In the show, the character is much much bigger and bulkier, larger, especially here at the top and I feel like uh, Hasbro did not translate that very well into this figure form. But let's go step by step and let's first take a closer look at the details. The head sculpt looks good. Does it capture the actor 100%? No, I, I don't think so. Maybe from some angles like from the side but uh, from the front he kind of, um, I, I don't know, it's not 100% you know but uh, I would say that uh, it still is good. I mean for mass produced product I would say that uh, the likeness is good enough. It's uh, nice to see that uh, Hasbro gave us a little bit of wash. You can see these uh, black lines on the top of the white beard and uh, also in the hair. Look at this. This is nice. The sculpt is there but with this dark wash all of those sculpt details are visible and that is Nice. I'm liking that. I mean, I'm trying to find, uh, you know, positives on this figure. I know from the start that it's a shitty figure because of the, the proportions, you know. So, yeah, I'm liking the head sculpt, even though it's not 100%. Speaking uh, of uh, wash and uh, weathering, we have some of that on his armor as well. You can see on these shoulder pieces, we have uh, different tones of black and like uh, dark green, dark blue paint. The sculpt looks good. We see the way that uh, his armor is attached on his back. We have these sculpted lines that create a kind of uh, pattern. It really does look like a medieval knight's armor, you know. And that's kind of a theme because uh, that goes in line with uh, Merrick. And those shoulder pieces are separate from the arm. It's on that uh, ring on the inside of the butterfly joint, so that's good. Arms look good. They have their own pattern. They are nicely sculpted. Here we can see that console with uh, buttons. And same goes for the other arm. The belt looks good. We have a silver buckle with some kind of uh, vibrant uh, green detail on the inside. Almost looks like a crystal. And then here is a small hook for his uh, lightsaber hilt. And there's not much more to say for the belt. It is a softer plastic for the belt and uh, it's a separate piece from the rest of the body. And uh, this skirt piece is connected with uh, the belt. It's all one piece and you can see that this is a thick piece of softer plastic because they tried to imitate like layers of uh, ropes going down over his uh, legs. At least they cut it in few spots so these pieces will go out of the way when you articulate his legs so that's good. Sculpting on them is nice, a little bit of texture on it as well. Underneath we have blank upper legs. Here you can see these like kind of uh, indents where the skirt 
pieces are pegged in they are not glued or anything that's just the way that they designed it so that uh, everything fits in its place so the upper legs look uh, plain there are some sculpted details like wrinkles but for the most part it's uh, really blank and then the lower part of uh, the legs has these shins that are connected with these straps and the shins are also well painted sculpted and weathered and then we have his feet and the uh, peck holes so yeah I mean in terms of uh, details when you look at uh, all of this that is on the figure this is passable this figure would be great if it was just bigger taller you know but this way this is even worse than when they don't paint the figure because even though I, I said it many times that I hate to paint myself the figure that I bought as a finished product I would still gladly do that in comparison to what we got here and I know that there are suggestions out there for some fixes and uh, ways that uh, you can uh, adjust the height of this guy but uh, still I feel like this is really really bad and again we knew that going in to this uh, review so it is what it is. Let's now take a look at his one accessory that he comes with and that accessory is of course his oversized lightsaber and it's just funny how they made sure to you know repeatedly tell us how large this blade will be while at the same time giving us a huge large character that is just undersized so that's kind of ironic you know. When you compare the saber next uh, to the figure the height of the lightsaber is almost the same as the height of the figure so that's just silly I don't know but looking at the saber on its own it uh, does look good we have some nicely sculpted details on the hilt here is that loop so that you can put the hilt on Balin's belt we have some nice silver paint and here at the top of the hilt you can see a kind of a nice fade of that uh, metallic gray into the black so that looks good and then the blade itself I mean it does look kind of orangish on the camera now that I see it but in person it looks red to me it really looks uh, red so we all know that uh, it should be more orange than red but it is what it is it's still not the main issue with this release of course the blade is removable and you are then left with the hilt and you can attach the hilt on his belt like this. Let's now take a look at his articulation. The head has some nice range of movement. He can look up this much, he can look down this much, the head can tilt side to side, it can rotate 360. We have a decent butterfly joint and the arms rotate 360. They go out all the way. There is no bicep swivel but there is a swivel in the elbow and the elbow bend gives us this much. We have another case in the Black Series line of uh, no hinges in the wrists. This is something new for this line. If I remove the hand you can see that we have a ball peg wrist. So this is nice. This is something that we usually get from import companies like uh, Medicom Toy, Mafex, uh, Bandai, SH Figure Arts. So this is great because it uh, doesn't limit the articulation of the wrist. They can move up and down, in and out, however you want. So that's great. Waist has only one cut that is behind the belt and that is where we get our twist side to side, a little bit of tilt side to side. He crunches forward relatively far in comparison with the other figures in this line. And then back is also nice. Legs move out all the way. There is no tie cut, but we still get a little bit of twist. Legs move forward this much, they move back this much, single bend in the knee gives us this much and the knee swivels. Feet move forward this much, back this much. We have a somewhat limited ankle pivot and peck holes at the bottom of his feet. Let's now compare Balin with some other figures. Here he is with Shin Hati and as you can see these two characters are here in their figure form the same height and that just shouldn't be the case. In the 
show, Balen is much, much taller. He towers over Shin. He towers over most of the characters. So it's such a shame because, yeah, Shin is probably too tall and Balen is too small. But if Balen was a bit bigger, this height for Shin wouldn't bother me that much. But seeing it like this, it's just a mess. This, this is unacceptable. Were they in such a hurry to push these figures out as soon as they could? and in the process just messed up the height, forgot to, to check it, you know? I mean, by now we all knew that this is what we are going to get. I knew it as well and I still decided to get these two because I'm not sure if we'll get them ever again in this line. I sure hope we will because this needs to be fixed and I hope that down the line Hasbro will do that. Here is Balen with the Black Series Morgan Elsbeth and the Black Series Merrick. Here he is with the Black Series Grand Admiral Thrawn and the Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper. Here he is with the Black Series Ahsoka with uh, Pancho from Island Journey Ray and the Black Series Sabine Wren. And finally here he is with the Black Series Hera and the Black Series Professor Hu Yang. So all in all what else can I say about this figure but uh, that it's a shame. This is a character that a lot of us wanted in our Black Series collection. It's a figure representation of a great character portrayed by a great actor who unfortunately passed away. A lot of fans fell in love with the character. It is just so unfortunate that this height mistake happened with this guy. If it was I don't know, Merrick, I'm sure no one would care that much, but with it being Balen, it's just... I don't know what to say. I'm truly, truly disappointed. That's, that was my review for Balen Skull in the Black Series line. Now, I would really like to hear you guys. What do you think about this figure? I'm sure I know what you think about this figure, but anyway, let me know down in the comments. Did you decide to get this figure even though you knew that it has a height issue? Let me know all of that. Share your wisdom down in the comments. Special thank you goes out to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are really helping me to continue making these videos for my channel so thank you so much to the rest of you of course thank you all for watching thank you for being here with me stay tuned for a posing video for this guy and i'll see ya in the next one